Hey guys, I am sitting down today to film a definitely very different video than I've ever filmed before and something I never thought I would be filming, but I've decided it's definitely a story I should share and need to share because there's really not a lot of information out out there about this because it's kind of like a very, very rare thing. As the title says, I got pregnant with an IUD. So I guess we'll just do the little backstory first. I had the Skyla IUD for three years and that was a three year IUD and I don't think that's on the market anymore unless they just kind of like renamed it. So I got that out two years ago because it was just time to get it out and you get it replaced every certain amount of years depending on the brand. So two years ago I got a new one put in and I'm not going to say the name of that for legal purposes I guess and also I just want to preface this video by saying I'm not a doctor or any sort of medical professional this is just my story that I want to share with you guys so take all of this with a grain of salt it's just my story that I wanted to share so two years ago I got a new IUD put in and you know it was all fine my body was completely adjusted to it since I had had one already for three years so it was fine I've never had any problems with it so every month, basically, my period got shorter and shorter and shorter. So it was really on like a four day thing, but it was very light those four days. So it was like almost like nothing at all. So in April, I got my normal four day period and then May came and I didn't get it. But I, I felt very hormonal, like my boobs really hurt. That was my first symptom. Like they really hurt, like as if I was PMSing, gonna get my period. But that week came and went and I used the Clue app to track my cycle and just all my symptoms and I tracked like oh like it should be coming it should be coming and it never came so I kind of just chalked it up to like stress of finals and whatever and I was like all right it'll come whenever and I just figured I missed it because I was like really getting the lightest periods ever so I just kind of figured I skipped a month so then June came and I would say around Memorial Day weekend I started feeling weird like in my stomach like gastrointestinal problems like feeling very bloated and gassy and just like gross but I chalk that up to drinking over Memorial Day weekend eating like crap and just not like really doing my normal routine because I was just kind of you know going out a lot enjoying Memorial Day weekend so Memorial Day weekend came and it went and then June 1st or whatever that week I started my new job on that Thursday and I remember that week I felt so nauseous in the morning but I'm someone who's always been very nauseous ever since childhood <laughs> my whole family knows I'm always nauseous basically always so it's something I'm just used to so I wasn't really alarmed and I was also very nervous starting a new job so I was like oh it's just like my anxiety I'm a little nauseous but I was having these really really weird gas pains in my my lower colon I don't really know the medical terms guys but like my my nether region I was having a lot of pain sitting down and that was last week so June 3rd that week I started feeling a lot of pain and pressure down there and I was like oh like I'm finally gonna get my period because that's kind of what it felt like I was cramping a lot the only symptom I had that was not like my period was the pain in my rear area i'm sorry guys i can't say it it's just grossing me out i can't even believe i'm talking about this online but i have to tell you so the pain back there like when i sat down it just hurt when i went to the bathroom it hurt like very bad and on wednesday the fifth i remember i ran to the train that day after work and i got in the train and i was so bloated like unlike any sort of bloating i've ever had i you know, I get bloated, whatever, and I was like, oh, I must be getting my period because I'm so bloated. But I looked up, like, pregnancy with IUD, like, all, like, how rare it is. It's an under a 1% chance that you could get pregnant with an IUD. Under a 1% chance. Very small chance. So I was like, okay, I must be getting my period. The 6th was a Thursday. I went out to dinner with my friends that night, and I told them, I was like, guys, like, I really think I might be pregnant. Like, I really feel like I feel bloated my boobs hurt you know I have this pain in my rear and my front like all this pressure and my friend Martina who's a mom was like well take a pregnancy test like just find out and I was like oh but there's no way there's no way and she's like well you really should just do it I was like yeah I guess you're right 
so friday morning i text jesse on my way to work i'm like by the way i think i'm pregnant like what a way to tell someone but i in my head i was like there's no way i am i have an iud so it's kind of almost just like joking around because i didn't think i was so i went to walgreens before work got a pregnancy test and i was like all right i just have to take this so i got to work really early that day so i went to the bathroom and i took it and i put it down like on the little toilet paper thing and but it was flipped over i didn't realize like that it was flipped over i'm shaking i was so nervous because friday the 7th i felt awful awful my stomach when i woke up i was so bloated but specifically like below my belly button like my uterus area so bloated i had so much gas that it felt like my colon was going to explode i got a three minute pregnancy test so i would say after 30 seconds i realized it was facing this way like the back was facing up so i flipped it over and two lines the second i flipped it over and it the control line hadn't even appeared yet it was positive within like 30 seconds I dropped it on the counter and I was like oh my god and not oh my god like I can't believe I'm pregnant like it was oh my god I have an IUD this is really bad like this is dangerous so the second I see that I call my doctor I set up a doctor's appointment for that day for three o'clock I call Jesse I'm freaking out I'm at work basically in tears so I obviously had to leave work early I was having a complete mental breakdown so I leave work, then I went to my friend Martina's house just to kind of wait it out. She's a mom, she talked me down, talked me off the ledge, because I was freaking out. And again, not because I was so scared I was pregnant, but because I have an IUD and it's very, very dangerous. So finally three, like two o'clock came around and I was like, you know what, I'm going to the doctors and I'm just gonna wait there. I can't wait any longer. So I get to the doctors, I get in to see the doctor and the doctor comes in and she's like, so you think you're pregnant with an IUD? And I'm like, yep so i tell her all the symptoms that i just told you guys and she does an ultrasound and i guess the ultrasound when you're this you know pregnant is the one that they put up you i didn't i didn't know about that one i thought it was just the stomach one but no they put the thing up you and she said the iud was in perfect condition like perfect place so it wasn't that the iud fell out or anything like that that was in perfect condition but she couldn't see any pregnancy in my uterus, but she did see a lot of blood, she said. So she's like, you need to leave the doctor's office right now and go directly to X hospital. She sent me to a specific hospital because that's where she practices out of. So she's like, you need to go there right now. And I was like, well, like, is this gonna be done like ASAP? Like, cause she told me this is an ectopic pregnancy. I don't see anything in your uterus. So you're either going to get a shot, which kind of absorbs the the pregnancy because if it's ectopic that means it's growing on your fallopian tube well it's growing outside of your uterus which is really dangerous for you because it can cause internal bleeding so well, which it did cause <laughs> so she said no like it's gonna happen today you need to get there like right now so I went to the hospital I checked in and within minutes I was seeing a doctor got blood work done and then Eventually they took me down and they did like a more thorough ultrasound. I was getting an ultrasound for I want to say like 15 full minutes of them moving that thing around, trying to get pictures of everything. So then the doctor finally comes in, I would say about two hours later and she said, or he said actually, so you are pregnant and it's an ectopic pregnancy, but because of the amount of blood that is pooled in your pelvic area right now, we cannot see what side the pregnancy is on. So you have to have surgery. The shot is not going to work. You're too far along. I was, I want to say like six and a half to seven weeks pregnant. So the amount of blood that they saw, um, they wanted to go in there and see what was going on because something had erupted. Hours later, I'm laying in the hospital bed in the PACU, which is the post anesthesia recovery unit or something. I was laying in there in my bed with my nurse and Jesse and my family in excruciating pain. I'm telling you, my stomach felt like it was gonna explode. Like it felt like gas pains, which a lot of it probably was just gas, but it just felt like 
because at this point I knew that I had like internal bleeding I was just imagining just like blood like pooling in my uterus and I'm sure that's not what it was but that's what I was imagining it so 7 45 the doctor comes around finally I felt like it was years she came around and she's like okay I'm gonna do the surgery it was the same doctor I saw earlier that day the one at my actual doctor's office she's my actual gynecologist so she was gonna do the surgery and then she again told me they couldn't see what side the pregnancy was on because of the uh, because of the blood so they were going to have to make three incisions one like a, in my belly button slash like right underneath it and then two on each side of my like uterus like where you would imagine your um ovaries to be around there i was just like i don't care what you have to do do it because i'm in such pain i don't care like get me under anesthesia so they take me to the operating room. I had never been under full anesthesia. You know, I was under whatever that anesthesia is when they take your wisdom teeth out, but never full anesthesia. So I was a little nervous, but I will say the entire time I was thinking about Christina Brawley. She is an anesthesiologist on YouTube and I love her. I've been watching her for years. And I was just thinking about all the things she says because she's always like, oh, people are so nervous when they get their anesthesia and it's like the anesthesia anesthesiologist job to calm them down and reassure them blah 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 so I was just thinking about her the whole entire time I was like you know like imagine it's Christina here with you it'll be fine and I met my OR nurses and I thought of my favorite OR nurse Maddie Woods because she's an OR nurse you guys should check both of their channels out I was thinking about her I was like okay like it'll be fine it'll be fine like so I get in there they put the I've had an IV in since I got there so much fluid you guys that they pumped into me I had to go to the bathroom like every three minutes I was getting saline bags after saline bag so many so my IVs already in they put the anesthesia whatever in they put the thing over my mouth and they're like think about being on a beach and I'm like oh my god <laughs> next thing you know I'm passed out I had to interrupt this video to add in some extra details that I have forgotten because on my way to the train I was like I realized I forgot some stuff so when I got the surgery basically what they did is they make the three incisions as I said they make an, inc an incision in your belly button and through there they insert gas to like I want to just say expand that kind that area so I guess they have more room to see and move things around like i don't know what the point is of that but they insert a lot of gas into your system and then the other two incisions down below are to remove the fallopian tube whichever one you need removed i would assume if they know which one you need removed or which side the pregnancy is on they would only do that one incision but because they couldn't see from the ultrasound from all the blood they had to do both on me so after surgery one of my main things, which is like what the doctor told me, was you're going to have a lot of gas pain, but it's going to go to your shoulder. I don't, I guess it's just your anatomy. It ends up like up here, all the gas pain. Oh my God. It was like I had a million pinched nerves all in here. I like couldn't move my shoulder. It was so much gas pain up here. That continued for, I only want to say like two or three days. It wasn't that long. And also I want to add in that Jesse was the best nurse I could ever ask for. He did everything for me those days because I couldn't move. And I was just, I felt sick. I felt like I didn't want to move. I was just, oh, he did everything for me. And Thank you to Jesse for being the best nurse and my parents and my sisters and my friends. Everyone was very attentive and asking me how I was about every five minutes. So thank you to everyone for being so helpful during that time. That's all. Back to the video now. What felt like two seconds later, but it was an hour and a half later. Um, I wake up an hour and a half later and I'm not breathing. They took the breathing thing out of my mouth. And I just remember not breathing because it hurt so bad. My throat was so dry and I was like like gasping for air but I couldn't so then they had to put the thing back on my mouth to breathe and that's the only thing I remember from waking up and then I remember waking up in the recovery room with, and I was like I was really really high on whatever anesthesia and I couldn't see anything because I didn't have my glasses on I couldn't see anything I was like does anyone have my glasses I can't see I wake up and I just remember being completely like wrecked <laughs> And I was in pain. My stomach was in a lot of pain. So they gave me Dilaudid, which is like a narc narcotic pain relief thing through the IV. Oh my god. I was like really twisted after that. 
oh my god but i just wanted to leave the hospital so bad i did not want to stay overnight you guys i wanted to get the hell out of there like asap and i told my doctor that and i told the nurse that i'm like i am not staying overnight so whatever you have to do to get me out of here tonight i want to do it so they knew my request so they transferred me to like a different area because that area of the hospital closed at 11 so those nurses wouldn't be able to discharge me so they transferred me to another house another area and i got discharged that night the the way i could like prove my my ability to get discharged was I had to go to the bathroom, like pee, and I had to eat something. So I ate saltines and I peed. And I was like, let me go, girl. So by 1.30 a.m., I was cruising on the way home. Obviously, Jesse drove me. <laughs> so that night, I went to bed. And then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I was in really, like, not good shape. Tired, in a lot of pain and not like pain in my uterus or anything but pain because the stitches and I couldn't really stand up all the way it almost felt like they like tore my muscle I know they didn't but it, that's what it felt like like my abdominal ab abdomen abdominal muscles were not functioning I could not stand up I couldn't do anything and then Wednesday I felt better I was moving around a lot more and then I went back to work Thursday which that vlog is going to go up after this video so when you see that and you see me acting weird as hell that's why because i just had this surgery now i'm going back to work basically the whole point of this video is that it is possible to get pregnant on an iud which we all knew we all know that's a possibility but you're like okay it's they say it's like an under one percent chance because like they have to say that you know like legally they have to say that well no girl it does happen i'm gonna tell you it does happen and it was the most painful thing I've ever been through in my life. I haven't been through that many traumatic things, but that was definitely number one. Oh, I didn't even tell you what they had to do. So during the surgery, they found out it was my left fallopian tube was completely ruptured. They couldn't save it. So they had to remove the whole tube. So I now only have one fallopian tube being my right one, which my doctor says probably won't affect my chances of getting pregnant in the future. Obviously it makes it harder to get pregnant, right? Because you have only one tube in full operation but it's not impossible to get pregnant. It just may take me a little longer. Then she followed that up by saying, and since I got pregnant on an IUD, I'm obviously quite fertile. So it really shouldn't be a problem. I was like, oh good. So that's my story. I obviously will not be getting an IUD ever again. And this, I don't want this to scare you from getting an IUD. I mean, yeah, it's kind of scary, but it was the best birth control I've ever used. I've used the pill and I used the IUD. I love the IUD. Not so amazing when literally the worst possible thing that could happen to you is an ectopic pregnancy and it happened to me. And of course, I couldn't just get the shot. My left tube couldn't be salvaged. Had to get the whole thing taken out. That's my story. I'm just going to sit here and think about anything else I need to add. And also, I just want to add another weird symptom I had, which I'm like glad it's finally gone. I was breaking out all over my neck, like this area, my shoulders, and my back. And I'm not really someone who breaks out in those areas. And I was like, okay, it's not from the gym because I haven't been going to the gym. It's not from sweat because I shower every day and I don't sweat. I was using Curology on it. I was using like acne face scrubs on it and nothing was helping. It got worse every single day. And I kid you not, Sunday after my surgery, it was like gone. It's like, okay, well, at least that problem is solved because it was getting bad. I think that's all I wanted to say like it was definitely very very painful once I realized what it was I was like oh my god this all makes so much sense because when you look up the symptoms for an ectopic pregnancy it's everything I just said including the rectal pressure and if you have that guys that's a really bad sign that means like you probably have internal bleeding get to the hospital so definitely don't wait for the worst to happen but I didn't know at all because it is possible to have a regular pregnancy with an IUD. It's really risky. It's a huge risk of miscarriage. Whether you keep the IUD in or you do remove it, it's a really big risk of miscarriage. So it's not healthy really for the baby and it's not healthy for you. But that wasn't even the position I was put in. I was put in the ectopic pregnancy position. So that's how I spent this weekend. It was definitely, it was definitely a eye-opening experience. And since i've had the surgery i've been pretty much fine the only thing is like moving around a lot hurts and i get tired pretty easily but every day that gets better i've been kind of emotional i don't know i don't know if that's like a side effect of the medicine i was on 
or getting the IUD out because I did get the IUD removed while I was getting surgery. Getting the IUD out messes up your hormones for a little while. So I'm going to be going through some weird probably breaking out emotional issues my period will probably be really weird for a few months but other than that i've really been fine i did have some really heavy bleeding for a few days but that's to be expected because my body is like getting rid of the you know when you get pregnant your body like thickens up your uterus in preparation for having a baby i was expelling all of that because there was no pregnancy even in my uterus to begin with so that's my story of being pregnant with an iud an ectopic pregnancy definitely a wild ride. I just want people to know about it and know my story because when I found this out, I was Googling, of course, everything like pregnant on an IUD, ectopic pregnancy, what happens when you're pregnant on an IUD. And I found a lot of just like medical articles, but I didn't find many people just talking about it, you know? I found a few forums, but they were kind of old and a lot of them were, they actually were pregnant. In their uterus so it wasn't what i was going through and then the other ones they a lot of the women i found got the shot which is a methotrexate shot i want to say that's how you pronounce it which absorbs the pregnancy because you cannot go through it with an ectopic pregnancy it's not physically possible i primarily wanted to tell it so other people knew about it but i also wanted to tell it because i've been in a really really weird place not mentally, but like when I vlog, I just feel like I'm lying, like I'm a sham because I'm not saying this huge part of my life that just happened. So I really just wanted to tell that story. So I hope you guys found this video informative in some way. I'm not going to say I hope you guys enjoyed it, but hope you found it informative. If I have anything else to add, hopefully I'll just add in some text slides because I'm sure I missed stuff. But that's it. I have to go to work now. I actually filmed this before I had to go to work, so. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <clears throat> Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.